And welcome back to the show. Well, February is Love of Reading Month, and one organization has, as one of its many features, taken on helping children and families celebrate the joy and importance of reading. So it is only fitting that Altrusa has several ways this month for the community to get involved. Beth Brulette and Elaine Wilder are ready to talk about all of them. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thanks for having us. So, Beth, let's actually start at the beginning and just learn a little bit about Altrusa and how you became involved. Well, Altrus is an international organization and it's focused on literacy. Um, actually, we're having our 100th birthday next year. Um, when I moved to Tucson, I realized that, you know, this was my community. I needed to give back to the community. That's important. And my passions were for education and literacy. So, coincidentally, Altrus um, put an ad in the paper and they were asking for members. They were looking for members. And it seemed like a good fit. Um, Altrus kind of focuses on the smaller organizations that fall below the radar, um, there's, you know, the big organizations that take care of the big groups, but we concentrate on Miracle Square and Sun Sounds of Arizona, Reach Out and Read, those kinds of organizations. So this was a way for me to get together with my friends, and we do service projects, and we fundraise, and we give the money to literacy, and we focus on literacy projects, So like this one. So it's kind of fun. I, I like it a lot. I think that's so great. And Elaine, of course, one of the projects that we are talking about today is Paint a Chair for a Child. So tell us, what is that, and how does it really focus on literacy in our community? Well, what better way to have a fundraiser than to um, involve the community in painting a chair and then having those uh, artists who are professionals and amateurs and nail technicians paint the chair, donate the chair, and then contribute to a fundraising event that focuses on literacy also included in the Love of Reading Week and uh, which many of the schools focus on love of reading and then having a child sit in a chair that is so absolutely stunning and have uh, the child invest the time to read a book in a chair like this. And so touch a little bit more on the, the artists. You said, you know, right. everything from amateur to right. They're all brilliant. They are brilliant. And, you know, it, it, when you are creating a fundraiser, you want something that is uh, kind of jazzy yeah. and lights up the the audience and boy did we we these are just simple white chairs that we bought in mass production and we put out a flyer to ask our own members if they would um, send out the information to artists that they know students who are in art classes and anyone that they thought might just have an artist's touch. And look at what we came back with. It's, it's really pretty stunning. And this is only a third of them. Oh, wow. Yes, it's gorgeous. Well, it's incredible. And I know uh, this is just such a beautiful thing. And I, I know our viewers watching probably agree as well. Now, if anybody can't attend, but they still want to take part, maybe make a donation, how can they do that, Beth? Oh, well, they can do that. Um, we'd love to have them attend. It's at um, the Arizona National on the 29th of February, um, but we'll take money from everybody. <laughs> uh, so they can go to our website, which is altrusa, A-L-T-R-U-S-A, Tucson.org, and there is a donate button, and they can learn all about Altrusa and find out. We'd love to have them join us anytime. And speaking of the event, those that will be able to attend, let me tell us about uh, what's going to happen there. Because I know because we talk about silent auctions, raffles. Okay, well, the silent auction, we're going to auction off goods and services if, if people choose to bid on them. We are also going to raffle off the chairs. And that is the main part of the event. Um, we will raffle them off and people can either take them home or they can donate them to Make Way for Books or to um, Literacy Connects. We also support Gale Elementary School so they can give them there. Um, or they can leave them with, uh, with us and we will give them to Gale Elementary School, whatever they choose to do. So it goes from 5 to 8 on the 29th and um, there's an open bar and there are hors d'oeuvres and you get to visit with your friends and look at the chairs and bid on what you want to take home with you. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a ton of fun and Altrusa is actually has tons of projects that will probably be on later in the year. So if we want to find out more about the organization and upcoming projects, where should we go? It's again, it's go to Altrusa. Tucson.org, and you can find out all about us. Well, I hope a lot of people go visit and attend this amazing event. It's going to be such a blast, and, and what a wonderful, wonderful thing to be doing in our community. Ladies, thank you so thank much. Thank you for You're having welcome. Us.
And you can attend the Paint a Chair for a Child raffle and silent auction on February 29th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Arizona National Golf Clubhouse. A shuttle from Tanka Verde and Catalina Highway is being offered by reservation. For more details, just call 296-8126 or visit altrusatucson.org.